End of the road, Pissar. We've got you now. Oh! I should have known you would make quick work of such trivial brutes. You... You were the one who brought ruin to the moonlit parish 16 years ago. That's yet another of your evil crimes that has come to light. What does it matter? Those parishioners brought their demise upon themselves. I wouldn't have had to resort to destroying the sand glass if they had just listened. Serves them right. What did you... I did try to bargain, but the parishioners insisted that it was a symbol of their town and not for sale. Ah, anything could be bought for the right price if you ask me. What choice did I have other than to forcibly take the car from them? Ah, had they simply complied, the town might have been spared. The town and its people perished, all because of your petty ego? You would establish your empire atop the lives of innocents? Oh, your definition of the word king is crooked and corrupt. I am building a vision from the ground up with my own two hands. Who else would be fit to rule it? I had considered annexing Ilistana as a subjugated territory, but after much rumination, I think at best I abandon an empire so pathetic. Only an imbecile would willingly live in a land plagued by an ancient curse. A floating isle of Lul, free from that wretched fate, is the optimal location for my kingdom. This place is the only location from Fadiel that survived the joining of the realms, and you want to turn it into your giant playground! That's right! I was the first to find this land, pristine and unsullied by man, and this herald of calamity as well. Interesting. Eve Zalaha's powers were sealed within that egg, which was then hidden here on the isle, undiscovered for thousands of years. The egg feeds on the negative emotions and vile desires of mortals. Only once it's absorbed enough will it hatch. You all played a hand in the breeding of these sentiments. Am I wrong? Remind me, who awakened Delafos and let loose the terrifying Benevidons? You are the ones responsible. Hey! Don't twist the narrative in your favor! We never intended to... The Benevidons' sudden emergence generated much unrest amongst the people. It was those feelings of agony that lifted the seal off of the dragon. And now the beast de resistance. Massive stores of mana amplified by the Thaumadorb. Rise, Eve Zalaha! Awaken once more! You will be the strongest weapon in my kingdom's arsenal! <laughs> Hatred, avarice, sorrow, and torment. How they churn and beckon to me. <coughs> what, what, what do you think you're doing? I am the one who resurrected you! What? I am your master! Pissar! <coughs> <laughs> Finally, the hour of my advent is now. Where is Passar? You refer to that puny man who shared my ambition for greed and domination? As an expression of my gratitude, I gave him an end most fitting for a minion as loyal as he. An end? Most fitting? Eve Zalaha, if your ultimate goal is the total obliteration of all human life, then I can only assume that you terminated Passar. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> 
That worm was the first of many victims of my reign to meet their demise. I will rewrite the order of this world. Even the goddess of mana will bow her head before me. As humanity withers, they will descend into utter despair. Their misery, their anguish. All the more to nourish and feed me. Now then, the dark feast of lamentation shall commence! None of we have anything to say about it. Such strength. This oppressive surge seeps down to my very soul. What? Watch out. It'll swallow us whole if we're not careful. If we let this thing run loose, the whole world really will be plunged into... I'll end you! This! I'll carry on from here. I'll deal with this. Get it together. I can help you. Now it's timing. Give them something to write home of. Enough, James! From here, Karina taking over. Don't let this go to waste. I'll heal you right away. I'll end you. Aha! Go over. I think I can use the vessel. Treat you. I'll deal with this. Feeling good. I think we can use the vessel. Oh my God. Elemental spirit, we need you. Surf the boomerang. Just what I need. Seriously, no? I'll be back. My time has come. over. Maximum power. I'll carry on from here. I'm on it. Take 
We... we beat it. Everything's gonna be all right now. We even retrieved the royal crown. Pissar had no idea how to be a ruler. It was that very same conceited display of power that brought humanity to the brink of destruction in the past. You mean Arvid's war? Had we not stopped the creation of his kingdom, our world would likely repeat the same mistakes our ancestors made. Other towns wouldn't have taken too kindly to being under his control either. Yeah, I really don't think he thought that part through. Individuals like him only care about their own personal gain. Yet, it is consideration for others that moves us forward as a society. Consideration for others? You're right, Ish. We have to support each other, through thick and thin. In the end, Passar's thirst for world domination was his doom. I must be sure that Ian never makes the same mistake. I wouldn't worry about Ian. With you as his mentor, he's bound to be a great leader. Oh, Morley, look! It's the Thaumatorb! Now we can finally fulfill King Gohul's request. He mentioned that the world has no need of such a device. If we wish to usher in a new future, we shouldn't be tethered to the static past. Let us retire from here and return to the capital. We should report to Ian that we have done as he requested. With the crown back in our possession, we can now proceed with Ian's coronation. I would be glad if you would grace us with your presence. <laughs> we wouldn't miss it for anything. I can't wait to see Ian all decked out in finery. Golly! I've never attended a royal ceremony before. Can I perform a song to commemorate the occasion? Maybe another time, Julie. Elistana has a pretty defined protocol for these events. Attendance at a stately ceremony is highly restricted. A privilege granted only to a precious few. <laughs> I feel honored just receiving an invitation. Ian has grown so much in such a short time. It would be a pleasure to witness this pivotal moment in his life.
The pure waters that flow through the capital are the will and lifeblood of its populace. Upon these waters, I crown you the King of Ilistana. I swear to protect the prosperity of Ilistana and to devote my life to its people. Ian, the Alms and I must now make for the Mana Tree. It is mandatory that we complete our mission. The duty of defending the continent falls to those who remain in our absence. I now bid you farewell, but our faith in each other will forge our future. Though I have already abdicated the throne, Ian, I entrust my will to you. Palomino, ever our beloved queen, we have duly noted your humble wishes. I know you are in good hands. You have Val and the other alms with you. And just as your friends support you wholeheartedly, I too have allies I can count on for help. Leave the capital to me. You may continue on your journey with peace of mind. Honorable Alms. Vadis, we managed to defeat Eve Zalaha. Everything's okay now. And I am glad to hear it. You have averted yet another crisis before it could escalate beyond repair. You have my gratitude. Only Delafos's enmity remains. I beg of you, raise your arms in defense of the goddess and the world. You got it. I promise that no harm will come to the Goddess or the Mana Tree. Eve Zalaha was unbelievably powerful, but we pulled through. Now all that's left is Delafos. Let's go! Let's rest up! Perfect! Okay.
Yes. Mm-hmm. 